Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're here today to show you guys the Sony Open. Out at Wale Country Club, we're here with TGC 2019 and the Unicor IXO, which is the overhead stereo camera infrared golf launch monitor system. Had a lot of people reach out lately. I only did a TGC video a little while ago. I showed the uh, Golf Simulator control box, and I also showed Payne's Valley which is the 19th hole, um, which is pretty cool. But people wanted to see a, a more on-course play. You know, some people were sending me some messages asking about that. Well, what a perfect opportunity. This week, the PGA Tour is the Sony Open out at Wale Country Club in Hawaii. All right, and we're going to go ahead and show you guys some holes out there right now using the Unicor IXO. Uh, why don't we go ahead and hit the Q button so you guys can kind of see what's going on, where we're aiming. Um, Looks like we're pretty much in the middle of the fairway. You can also use your flyover button, which is H. You can see it's really cool. They have it set up right now for the Sony Open with the stadium seating and everything. I think that that's really cool that it was designed that way. If you want to exit your flyover at any time, you just hit that H button again, and it's really easy. Um, but yeah, I had, I had quite a few people that want to see some more TGC 2019. I think it's because the, the ones that are looking to purchase it, um, there is no demo. So, you know, they're trying to see as much as they can and what's available. Um, obviously, the course selection on TGC is pretty vast. Things like this, you know, you have the Sony Open going on this week, and here you are able to play it. So it's pretty cool. And that was All a right, drive. not wow. the I best way to the start. Um, I didn't really warm up, but you know what? It's going to be okay. That was a little bit of a heel shot, like a heel cut. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, not the best drive to start things off. But that's okay. All right, it's gonna give us, I'd I think, a decent little approach shot. Yards, so. Yeah, see, so we got away with here. that. Nothing wrong with a little little heel miss to start things off. 104 yards. Okay, uh, this is a 54 degree for me. It's just slightly uphill. Hit that Q button, kind of see what I've got. I don't want to go long. So I think this is the right club. Maybe I get just a little release on it on the green, and it would roll up you know, towards that pin. Let's see what we can do. I hit that just a little fat. Gonna have to go. Roll out. All right, we have a putt. Nice. We have a birdie putt. This is what I get. I torture myself. I don't warm up. And I uh, Here knock we go. out this some videos early morning. Bird. Very busy schedule. And so I'll come down and knock some of these things out for you guys. And uh, it is very early here. And you know what? I'm going to have to fight through it. Let's see here. It breaks a little bit left to right. Then it goes right to left. I almost feel like I could go right at it. I mean, it breaks left to right harder, but, you, but as it slows down, it's going to break right to left. And usually when you hit it a little bit faster, it'll push through that break. I'm going to go right at it. It's uh, playing 32 feet. That's a long putt. All right, let's see what we can do here for birdie. I think it's going to have to go. Oh, I got there. It just didn't break the other way. So what's that? Put us in for par because it's only a couple feet away. Yeah, two feet to the pin. All right. We're in for par. I mean, not bad considering nice that big start miss. Things out with the par. Par. Never played this course before. Okay, hole number two. Let's see what oh, we can do Oh, par here. three. 170 yards, four feet downhill. That should be like a smooth nine. I like kind of hitting the, the, the flyovers so you guys can kind of get a little bit of an immersive feel. Um, you know, we record in super high res, so try to show off the best, you know, graphics I can for you guys. I love the uh, tower, the camera tower back there. That's really cool. Pins located towards the back middle. So I like that, it's a little forgiving. I feel like this is a little much club. Maybe if I'm lucky, uh, I've been trying to fade the ball a little bit. Maybe we can set up here and fade this seven iron in there so it doesn't go too far. Let's see what we can do here. Little fade. Oh, I chopped too much off. Maybe or is it gonna get a bounce? Seven iron should bounce and release. Little downhill. 
Could it be a birdie? Slow down ball. <laughs> I think that's in. In six feet. Four feet to the pin. How about that? We're one under. You know, sometimes okay, that'll bring it down to one under. Warm up. You just go out and play, right? Slow your swing down. Nice bird on that last hole. Let's see another one. All right. Got to love John giving us some uh, kudos on the birdie. I don't want to be in that bunker. If you guys are not familiar, you know, and I was thinking about posting the distance penalties for TGC 2019 on my website. I have so many people ask for them. So I think I'll do that. I'll try to put a link in the description and uh, I'll post the distance penalties and some shortcuts that'll help you guys. So um, just to kind of name them off, light rough 7%, heavy rough 14%, and then the bunkers are different, whether you're in the fairway or by the green and stuff. And so I'll, I'll post all that for you guys. Um, 403 yards, pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can make good contact this time. I really, uh, man, that was a pretty bad heel shot on that first drive. Let's see if we can correct that a little bit. It's tough being that warmed up with driver. Well, better, but I came across that ball, I think, a little bit. And uh, what did I talk about? Fairway bunkers? I mean, I got a hold of it. It's 265, but uh, I think I wanted to, I just, you know, kind of closed that face down a little bit, tried to make more of a swing that time. And uh, here we go. So fairway bunkers, okay? Um, there's a penalty that's different uh, from the green. It's only like 7%. Um, so let's look where it has us aimed. Okay, now I'm not going to, I'm gonna hit like an eight iron, okay? Which is gonna 7% from 146. So I can't get my nine iron there. I'm gonna have to like kind of chop off a little bit of an eight. 7% isn't much. I'm tempted to hit like a hard nine, which I can almost get there, but it's four feet uphill too. Um, let's see if we can kind of chop off an eight iron. Pins at the front, tough location. Tough location. Don't want to be in that bunker either. Maybe a little fade here, like we did on that last one. Great contact. Nice swing. Fading a little. What might get a big bounce though? Let's see. Stop ball. Stop ball. All right. All right. Not bad. Well, you're on the green. That cool is course decent. so far. I don't know how many holes we're going to play. I kind of like right, showing you guys the course, but um, encourage everybody that's watching, you know, to go out and play it. And then those of you that are, are looking to purchase TGC, uh, 14 feet, that's definitely definitely a pretty significant break. Uh, aim a little left here. Um, I have all kinds of videos. So this is just one example. And you can go look at, you know, Pebble Beach, and different courses that I've demonstrated, I jump all around. I have some full rounds if you want to see some full rounds. 14 feet is what it's playing. It's a pretty significant break. I hope I'm reading this. Get the speed right, and then hopefully it breaks. Whoa, wow. Whoa, whoa. Wow, the break was much more, and... I didn't get the speed right. I hit it too hard. Now I'm seven feet away, which means that I have to putt this. And for the par. For par. All right. Let's hope I can get it right. I hate to give up that, that one under with that great birdie that we had, all because of putting. You know, I switched so much different software, and I don't know what these greens are set at. They seem a little fast, which, you know, for a tournament, uh, you know, of course, they probably did set them fast. And, uh, you know, I usually use defaults. I like to see how the programmer, you know, left it at default. I mean, that's breaking pretty significant. I might aim just a little bit right in the sim. Playing 10 feet. Oh, my Ooh, gosh, it's a bogey. The putting is just killing me. The putting is killing me.
I mean, that was, I feel like I, I did much better there. I read the speed proper and, and I just didn't get the break. So uh, tough break. We have a par five coming up, which would give us an opportunity for a birdie okay, again. The let's hope. Uh, let's see what it's all about. All right. Ooh, heavy dog leg, huh? Okay, dog leg to the right. Give you guys kind of a preview there. Very cool with the water coming through. Got the bridge over there. Multiple bridges across the river. All right. That bunker, if you're trying to cut it, gets you in trouble, which makes sense. I think that's well designed. All right, let's try to hit another decent drive here. I'm gonna try to not release it so hard this time. Still wanna get that distance up there, get us past that dog leg. Maybe if I can fade it just a tiny bit, that'd be great. Solid swing. Give me that little fade. I like it when it shows that, because that usually means you're ending up in the fairway. <laughs> All right, 265 in the fairway, I'll take it. Give us an opportunity here. Let's see what we can do. How far is it to get and home is this the question. One, uh, looks like around 240 you know, that's the yards question. out. 240 to get home. So, I mean, that's gonna be a three wood if I wanna get it close. I don't think I can get my three hybrid there. Three hybrid carries, you know, 220 on a good day. Uh, 215 carry, roll out a little bit. This is going to be a three wood. Problem with three wood is if I do stripe it, I mean, I can carry it, you know, 240. So I don't want to hit this past the pin. So uh, let's hope we can just hit a smooth three here. Get it up close. Give ourselves a birdie opportunity. I hit it a little towards the toe and you can see that thing working right to left. And it's gonna to be too much. Stop ball. Am I gonna be putting? Whoops, I'm dropping my club. And there's some fantastic golf putting for Eagle. It says, there's some fantastic golf putting for Eagle. Right, I mean, I Eagle. knew it was gonna be a little too much. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? I like using that Q button to see what's going on by the hole. That's a lot of left to right break by the hole. I mean, it breaks a little right to left before it, but I think it's gonna break hard by the hole. It's playing 38 feet. So it's gonna be challenging to get this close because I'm getting used to the speed of the green. Get the cursor out of the way. I don't like the distraction. Really like to get this close and at least in for birdie. Love to sink eagle. All right, 38 feet. Oh, I gave it a chance. Is it too yeah, far? Is it within six? By the hole. Is it within six? Five feet to the pin. We're in for birdie. All right, guys, so we got back down to one under. Figured we'd wrap things up just based on the time of the video. I try to keep them realistic if it's not like a stream. Um, so if you want to see more, let me know. We'll try to do a stream of uh, maybe a course of your choice. Comment below. I'd love to know what you think. I mean, this has been the Sony Open, all right? Wale Country Club, TGC 2019 using the Unicor IXO golf launch monitor. I always appreciate you guys sending me messages and reaching out, asking for things like this. Kind of keeps me thinking on what to do next and kind of mix it up, make sure I'm uh, getting all the subscribers and viewers, you know, what, uh, what they'd like to see. So as always, if you guys are looking for any hardware or software, my email is always in the description and comments below. Make sure you reach out to me because the partners that I have are going to get you the best information and pricing out there. And I'll help consult along the way to make sure you're getting what fits your needs and your environment. Okay. That's always my goal. I want to make sure you guys are getting the best bang for your buck. All right. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and comment below. Let me know what you think about whether it be TGC 2019, you know, the Sony open this weekend or, uh, you know, the, how I played out there. It doesn't matter. I'd love to hear your comments below. Appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned for more. We'll talk to you soon.